this is a summary of what I already implemented on stream. And the goal here is to edit items on an index page in place. We don't want to switch to a single page dedicated to that item with a form. And Remix nested routes proved to be a very efficient tool for this job because I wanted a solution that is both straightforward and robust, which means it should even work without client-side JavaScript. To illustrate this, we have this shopping list app and we will be able to assign a section of the supermarket to each item. This will serve to make our run through the supermarket more efficiently, completing section by section and not having to go back and forth as much. What I typically do in a JavaScript heavy frontend is to use some local state to toggle if an item is in display or edit mode. But there are two problems. The first is if client JavaScript is not available for whatever reason, maybe it didn't load on a slow connection, then the user would have no access to this form. The second problem I ran into was how would I communicate back after a successful submit that this form can now be closed and the index needs to reflect the change. With this nested route, this looks a lot like the traditional server rendered PHP applications I know. Let me quickly disable JavaScript and have a look at what the network tab shows us. We make a GET request to the index page and if I click this button, you can see a GET request to the nested route with the item ID. We'll have a POST request that submits to the nested route and then redirects back to the index page. And here's how it works. Since the URL reflects the UI state, that is, which item is in edit mode by including the ID, we can get this form for that specific item already within the server rendered HTML. Nested routes work like nested layouts. When we call a nested route like item slash ID, then Remix works its way from top to bottom, first rendering the index page, which then in turn can include an outlet component that serves as a slot to insert what we define for the next level one step deeper. That is our item ID part of this route. And so already on index level, I grab the ID from the URL. And when I go through all the items, I see if it matches. If it doesn't, we are simply in display mode. But if it matches, that's the hint to render the form instead. And that's where we drop one level deeper into the item ID route part, which really only renders the part that we need to fill this gap in the parent part of the layout. And that is all there is to it. With this nested route, this looks a lot like the traditional server rendered PHP applications I know, but of course we also get the benefits of JavaScript if available. And if I enable JavaScript again and we reload this page and have a look at the network tab, we then see that there are chunks of our app code that get loaded and Remix handles the requests. And while this is a quite simple example and we don't notice much of a difference whether we have JavaScript turned on or off, it enables progressive enhancement and still opens up the possibilities of JavaScript.